your destination for all the daily league and Australian football news updated the 19th of March 21 12 o'clock the 19th of March 21 confident decisive humorous those aren't words you'd commonly associate with a referee but that's what springs to mind after being given rare insight into the life of an A-League referee. In his last A-League match, Jar Gillett was mixed up by Fox Sports as he officiated Brisbane Roar's clash with Western Sydney Wanderers, read the full story. Here, financial constraints are just one reason why the Socceroos haven't locked down a friendly match during the March international window. after a busy nine months that has seen the green and gold compete at the World Cup and Asian Cup. Graham Arnold's side are now in a hibernation of sorts with their next game currently not locked in. While the Socceroos squad can enjoy the break, Arnold has his hands full looking to ensure the Oliroos qualify for the AFC U23 Championship. Read the full story here, Scott Jamieson is set to miss four to six weeks with a broken toe. The Melbourne City skipper confirmed the injury on social media and should return just in time for finals should his side maintain their spot in the top six. Jamieson has played 21 games this season and picked up four assists, broken my toe. Gut to be missing out on the next few weeks but we'll work hard and get back out there ASAP. At Melbourne City raising hands, Scott Jamieson, at Scott Jamieson, March 20, 2019. After scoring his first league goal for Melbourne City against Sydney FC on Sunday, Tottenham Loney Shayon Harrison stressed just how impressed he's been with the quality of football. The Spurs attacker arrived in Australia in February and has scored one goal across his five appearances to date. Having played solely in England and mainly at youth level prior to joining City, Harrison has been impressed by the level of the A-League and admits people may not be aware of it. Read the full story here. Both John and Ross Aloisi have reportedly been contacted about the soon-to-be vacant Adelaide United coaching position. Marco Kurtz and the Reds confirmed this week that they will part ways at season's end. With the Courier Mail claiming Adelaide officials have reached out to the Aloisi brothers' representatives. Both enjoyed playing stints in the region with Ross infamously captaining United before being sent off in 2006-07 a league grand final. John left Brisbane Roar in December last year after a tough run with Ross also following suit having been his brother's assistant. The same report also states Robbie Fowler could be announced as Roar's new coach by early next week with the former Liverpool player a strong favourite to land the job. South Korean club Poang Steelers have been linked with a move for the Sydney FC midfielder but he's not the only Aussie they're interested in. According to the Sydney Morning Herald, Powang yet to make a formal offer for Brillante with Steven Ugarkovic and Luke Bratton also on their radar. Both Bratton and Brillante are free agents at the end of the season with the K-League transfer window set to shut on March 28. The Steelers were the home of Australian midfielder Connor Chapman, who has recently signed for newer league outfit Western United, Melbourne City attacker Riley. McGree has declared the national team must come first after 16 A-League players were called up early to an Oli Roos camp. That decision left A-League coaches Kevin Muscat and Marcus Babbel fuming at Graham Arnold with the Oli Roos set to play a series of AFC qualifiers. Arnold is desperate to see Australia's youth side improve with McGree agreeing that in this instance the Oli Roos had to be given priority, read the full story here. At the tender age of 49, Craig Foster has made his FFA Cup debut in a cameo appearance for Albion Park City on Wednesday night. Foster started the match from central midfield as his side fell to a 6-0 defeat against Coniston FC. Though the scoreline was lopsided, Foster was able to capitalize on his effort and help raise over $10,000 for charity. 
Read the full story here. The former Melbourne City star has been strongly linked to a move and was seemingly spotted in a Perth Glory jersey yesterday. That looks like Bruno Fornaroli at HBF Park. At Perth Glory FC are making a major announcement tomorrow morning. Cactus pair camera with flash sent in by Edmund Tolson 294. Number 10 jersey, a number noticeably vacant in the Glory squad right now. Perth are making an announcement on Friday with all signs now pointing towards it being related to the Uruguayan. The Matildas pre-World Cup camp in Turkey is at risk after Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison said he would review travel advice to the nation after comments from President Erdogan about the Anzacs. Read all the details. Fledgling a league franchise Western United is set to host a pre-season match against Premier League hopefuls Leeds United. FTBL is reporting the two teams are in discussions with a deal close for the match to be penciled in. Read all the details. New league franchise Western United have announced the triple signing of Australian talent Sebastian Pasquale, Apostolos Stamatolopoulos and Dylan Piriers. Pasquale, 19, returns to Melbourne after nearly three seasons with Ajax, where he played consistently for the Dutch Giants reserve team. The Wangaratta-born midfielder made his debut for Melbourne victory in 2016 but quickly secured a move to the Netherlands after impressing against Juventus in a pre-season friendly. 19-year-old Stamatolopoulos moves east from Adelaide United after making 16 appearances for the Reds across two seasons. The striker scored a late equaliser against Western Sydney last campaign and also scored on his first start this season versus Central Coast. Versatile defender Piriers, also 19, moves from Melbourne City having only played three matches during his three-season stint at the club. We are delighted to have captured three of Australian football's brightest talents. John, Anastasiades, and I have been united in our assessment of Seb, Starmer and Dylan, Western United assistant coach John Hutchinson said. In Seb's case, already being part of European football's greatest school in Ajax, we're excited to have. Seb bringing his learnings and to push through to playing first-team football and continuing his rise. Starmer is a very exciting forward who has already tasted a league football so we believe he will develop into a mainstay of our attacking third for many seasons to come, and in Dylan we see a player who can slot into anywhere on right side of the pitch so versatility is a trait we want in all our players. The new Matildas coach has hit out at Australia's inadequate approach to their youth programs. Milicic, who has previously led Australia U20 and U23 sides, stress not enough is being down at youth level and Australia is quickly falling behind Asia as a result. Our underage programs, they're not serious programs, Milicic told AAP, they're not designed for qualification. Simple as that. When I look at the preparation that we give our teams compared to what the other Asian teams are getting, we have got no right to expect or to assume we will qualify for these major tournaments. Take the latest tournament, the eventual winners were Saudi Arabia. In the last 12 months they played 17 games. We played one against a national team. So why do we expect to qualify? The Oli Roos are set to play three AFC qualifiers over the next week starting with a match against Cambodia on Saturday, having played in the managerial firestorms of England and Turkey, Central Coast Mariners midfielder Jem Karakin is all too familiar with the abrupt departure of a coach. After being recruited by Mike Mulvey in January, Karakin saw the man that brought him to the A-League sack nearly a fortnight ago after an 8-2 loss to Wellington Phoenix. While the change of managers has reaped an immediate reward under Alan Stajcic after a dramatic F3 derby win, the 30-year-old has 
reached out to Mulvey and stressed the players needed to do better during his time at the club. Read the full story here, as the regular season draws to a close both clubs and players start to contemplate what's next with off-season movement and inevitably In the A-League in particular where short contracts are the norm, player movement is a familiar sight and the months to come will be no different. Here are the players with contracts set to expire at the end of the season asterisk that will be turning heads. Check out the list here, Professional Footballers Australia PFA, have hit out at Football Federation Australia's decision to support the re-election bid of Asian Football Confederation President Sheikh Salman Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The FFA have followed the lead of other Asian nations and confirmed their backing of Sheikh Salman on Monday ahead of April 6 elections. Sheikh Salman has however been strongly criticised for his inaction when it came to Hakeem al Arabi, with the PFA strongly opposed to his reign being allowed to continue. Read the full story here, Jason Davidson has resigned with Perth Glory for the 2019-20 season. The Australian left-back has impressed in his first season in the A-League and joins a string of Glory players that have recently extended their stay with the club. I want to continue to be a part of something special, Davidson said. The success that the club is striving for is something that I want to help achieve and I feel fortunate to be a part of a team unit that is so strong on and off the pitch. It's great to have come back to play in Australia and hit the ground running with a team that is playing so well, at Jason Davidson 29 is back on board. Full details here, https colon slash slash t dot co slash 9 miss of the League. Glory FC, at Perth Glory FC, March 18, 2019 While the introduction of the VAR has increased the likelihood of penalties being awarded, the success rate of these spot kicks has left a lot to be desired. In the A-League this season, just one of seven penalties taken after VAR intervention have been converted. Two of these came in round 22 with Roy O'Donovan failing to convert at the second time of asking in injury time against Central Coast Mariners after VAR are enforced a retake for encroachment and Alexander Baumjahan firing wide against Wellington Phoenix. Read the full story here.